Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Today is our hot day number five of our happy holidays. And today's video is technically not another haul, but it is a haul. So it's like a reverse haul. So it's things that I've already purchased, things I've already used. So that way I can tell you guys my thoughts, my opinions on these items and whether or not you would actually want to purchase these items and whether I would repurchase them. So what is it? It's an empties. So we have a ton of empties here to share with you guys. I am makeup free today because I've just been kind of decleaning. De what is that word? <laughs> Not even sure what that word is. Been decluttering and cleaning. Decleaning. Okay, that's a new one. Anyway, so I've been decluttering and cleaning and I figured I would go ahead and do my empties to share with you guys. And also, it is, like I said, technically a haul, but believe me, there's still plenty more to come because all on this side of me over here, there's boxes on boxes of stuff that I want to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and start with this because, like I said, there's tons of things in this basket. The basket is um, kind of overflowing. I don't know if you can even see. It's like really full. So let's start with what's on here on top. Hopefully this doesn't Tetris and like break apart because I think I've got it stacked kind of neatly so that it all stays in the basket. So the first thing is a body scrub. This is by Onyx Bathhouse. I purchased this at TJ Maxx for $5.99 so it was a great deal. This is in the scent Pumpkin Spice Latte. No, it's Pumpkin Spice La Life. I was like, uh, it smells really good. There's still a little bit left in there but it got really sticky towards the end. This is a nice body scrub but I will say that it's a little overpowering for the scent. The scent is almost like a potpourri. So if you like a potpourri scent, then this scent would be nice. But I feel like it's a little too strong. So I probably won't purchase this scent again. I do like the body scrub itself. It's very thick, almost gummy though. So when you pull it out, it's, it's like kind of gummy. And then I usually use a good scrub before I shave my legs because then it, I feel like your legs shave better and you get a smoother shave. So I will purchase more of this brand. But just not the scent because I feel like it's a little too, a little too potent. And then we have another one. So this one is also by the same brand, Onyx Bathhouse. This is a one scented in Unicorn Dreams. I don't remember. This one smells like, kind of like candy apple or, I don't know. It's just got a very weird scent. I don't love the scent either. Oh, it's Freesia Kiwi and Manz Manzana. Manzana. I think it's the kiwi that I'm smelling in here that I don't love the smell of it in this. So again, a great scrub, but the scent doesn't stick to your skin. So that's the good thing. So the scent's not going to be sticking all over to your body. Once you're done, it's kind of washes off, but it's great for a body scrub. It is a good body scrub. And for $5.99, I'll definitely buy more. Let's see. Now we have a bubble bath. Yeah, I have tons of bath products because bath time is my favorite time. This is the Bath and Body Works. This is the Love... Oh wait, is this Bath and Body Works? Bath, yeah, Bath and Body Works. This is a rose and vanilla natural essential oil luxury bath. I absolutely love this bath oil, like foaming. I don't, it's not really um, an oil. It's more of like bubble bath. So if you like a good bubble bath and you like a good scented bubble bath, this is phenomenal. It's got an amazing way that it comes out into your water. It's almost like creamy. So it definitely smells good, but it's, rose scented so if you don't like rose you're not gonna like this so i do like the scent of roses i find that it's very uh relaxing i guess it's the best way to say it. it's just a very relaxing scent so i will definitely buy more of those i haven't seen these in a while though at bath and body Works. so if you guys have seen them let me know if they're like just hiding and i just haven't seen them i don't know the next thing is also from bath and body works this is the orange and vanilla twist body lotion this smells so good. Oh my gosh. It smells like a orange creamsicle. Or if you're like my age and you remember like the Flintstones, they used to have a, an ice cream called the push up or something like that. That's what it kind of smells like as well. It's made with juicy orange, summer sherbet and vanilla cream. Ugh, it's like good memories in a bottle and it smells phenomenal. So I bathed in this basically it's lotion. So probably shouldn't bathe in lotion. I've got things here on my table as well. This is by Wim. This is an Ulta Beauty product. This is the Blackberry Mirror 3-in-1 
body wash, bubble bath, and shampoo. I only use it for a bubble, wa bubble bath. I don't like the way that it would feel on my skin for like a body wash. And definitely it would not have worked for my hair, but I'm sure that if you're a guy, that it probably will work for you because I don't know about you, but my guys, they can wear or use anything basically on their hair to wash it with and their hair smells phenomenal and it looks phenomenal. My hair is so picky, so I can't use this for my hair, but it does make nice bubbles. It's kind of hard to pump though because you have to pump it out into your water. It's kind of hard to pump. But other than that, it was nice and it wasn't a bad price either. So I probably would purchase more, maybe in like a vanilla scent. I think I would like that better. And then we have a, another uh, shower gel. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is the Sweet Whiskey. This has aloe and vitamin E in it. Oh my gosh, guys, this smells so good. Oh, it smells really, really good. It's got an intoxicating kind of scent. It's golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red, red berries. It smells so good. Highly recommend this. This is like a new scent at Bath and Body Works. If you haven't smelled it yet, definitely go smell it. So smells really good. They have the candles too. So if you want the candle, they have that. The candle sale was just the other day. So if you missed the candle sale, then that's when you could have bought it. I'm not buying any more candles for a while because I've got so many that I'm just, I'm kind of like stopping the candles for a while. The next thing is from, Bo <laughs> nope, not Bath and Body Works. This is Bobbi Brown. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched, Enriched Skin Enhancer, I think is what it's called. Face Base. Nope. Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So basically it's like a lotion, but it smells really good. It's got a nice like uh, citrusy scent almost. It's very light scented. It does a great job. If you have dry skin like I do, this is great for putting on under your makeup. And if you don't even wear makeup and you just want to wear it as like a uh, cream, it works really great for that as well. But I recommend still, if you're using this in the daytime, to make sure you're still using a good SPF because that's crucial. Let's be honest. All right, the next thing is from Tree Hut. This is the Tahitian and Vanilla Bean Moisturizing Shave Oil. I really like this as well. So I do like a combination of things when I'm shaving my legs. I do a scrub and then I use the oil and then I feel like my legs feel so good. So I don't know about you guys, but there's nothing better than feeling when you go to bed and you pull the sheets up over your legs and they're freshly shaved. That's like one of the best feelings. So this is a really nice oil. It keeps my skin nice and hydrated. So I love this. I will definitely purchase more. And this smells really good too, this Tahitian vanilla. Oh my gosh, it smells really good. It's almost kind of like a cigar, like a tobacco type of vanilla. The next thing is from Morphe. This is the Madison Beer, Madison Beer Seal the Deal Luminous Setting Spray. This was a really nice setting spray. There is a little bit of a luminosity in here, so kind of like glitter. So if you don't like that, you may not like this. I like it because my skin is so dry, so when I would use this, my skin would just look so glowy, and it kind of was kind of like, you know, like on... Uh, twilight so but I didn't mind that it looked like that because with my skin being dry it just it made it look very healthy so I will definitely be purchasing more of these if I can find them I don't think they sell them anymore unfortunately though which sucks because I really liked it so that's how it always goes though when you love something I feel like they stop selling it and then I'm like great now what <laughs> the next thing is another body wa body wash this is from caress this is the passionate spell Oh my gosh, guys, this smells so good. Oh, I wanted to purchase more of these, but I can't find them. I don't know if this was like a limited edition scent. I don't even remember where I bought it. This is passion fruit, fiery orange, and rose. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so good though. Guys, if you've never smelled this, highly recommend it. I'm going to have to check Amazon and see if I can find it there and see if I can buy it in bulk because it smells good. And I definitely would purchase again. I finished a perfume, guys. This is the Shea and Blue Black Tulip. This is one of my all-time favorite perfumes. This is probably my signature scent, I would say. Out of all the perfumes I have, this would be the one that I would feel like most people would recognize me by because I wear it so often. Only because, first, I love the smell of it. Second, my husband absolutely loves the smell of it. It smells like, I don't know, sultry, adult, it's got like a feminine, but almost almost like a masculine side as, side as well. It's just a, an amazing scent to it. If you've never smelled it before, I highly, highly recommend it. I'm asking for this for Christmas. I don't know if it has notes on here or not. But they only make this in England, so it's hard to find. So it's not one that you can readily find easily. So I do have to usually order online and get this shipped. But it is my absolute favorite scent. Oh my gosh. If I could like bathe in this, I would be so happy. 
All right, the next thing is, I'm trying not to knock the tower over here. The next thing is another body wash. This is Amazing Grace. Uh, this is a shampoo, bath, and shower gel. Again, anytime it's like a combination thing, I don't use them as the combination. I'll use them as a body wash or a, um, or a bubble bath. This one I used as a body wash and I love the scent of Amazing Grace. It's a very nice light scent. A lot of people really enjoy the scent because it's super light. It's not overwhelming and I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't like cause anybody to have any kind of major side effect to it. You know what I mean? Like if you ever smelled somebody's perfume and it's very strong or somebody's body wash and it's really strong, this is definitely not like that. This is like a perfect, very light scent, mild scent. So I love this. Actually, I just bought my neighbor uh, a, a gift set of that because she said men she had mentioned that it's her favorite scent, so I bought it for her for Christmas. The next thing is this right here. This is a facial oil. So this is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. I absolutely love this. I use this day and night. After I've cleansed my skin, I put this on immediately afterwards and it just soaks in and not only does it feel really good, I love the smell of rose. It's a very light scented rose. It's an oil, but it's also a serum. So it sinks into your skin very nicely. So you can still do other things on top of it. It's just, ugh, I highly recommend this. I already purchased more, so you'll see it in one of my hauls here coming up. So I already purchased it again. The next thing is this right here. This is the La Mer Cream de la Mer Moisturizing Cream. I literally, drain this thing it, there's nothing in it like it's oh, there's a little bit right there there's okay i'll take that for my hand that's nice that's real nice this smells phenomenal it is my favorite moisturizer for nighttime i don't like using it for the day because i like to use something that has a good spf in it but for nighttime it's phenomenal i wear under makeup over make under makeup and on makeup free days not over makeup <laughs> i do like the jar it's ceramic or something I feel like you can do like a craft with this. I'm not sure what, but you could definitely do a craft with this because the jar itself is extremely heavy. But this, I highly recommend. It is quite expensive. My husband purchased two of these for me last year for Christmas, and this is my first one I've gone through. So it took me a year to go through it. So I've still got the other jar, so I'm still good. So that makes me very happy that he purchased, ooh, he purchased two of those. All right, the next thing is a downstairs wash. <laughs> so if you know what I mean. This is for your lady bits. So this is called the Sweet Labs Vanilla Blossom Gentle Wash. I love this. I know that they say that you don't technically have to use anything that's special for your lady bits area, but I do. I like to use those things because I think it just makes me feel better. You can also use baby shampoo, especially one that's unscented because then it can do the same thing. But this one's just like pH balanced and all that good junk. I don't know if it actually does anything different, but I just, I enjoy it. So I will definitely be purchasing more. So I do love that. You can purchase that at Ulta, by the way. Another scrub. We have a coffee scrub. This is the Tree Hut Velvet Coffee Scrub. Out of all of the new Tree Hut scrubs that have come out, this one, as you can tell, I really loved it. Look, it's like completely empty. I, I drink this one. It smells just like fresh brewed coffee. It smells like you're going into a Starbucks and it smells so good. It's an amazing scrub. Obviously, I do love Tree Hut scrubs, but this scent, I highly recommend the Velvet Coffee. Oh, it smells so good. My whole bathroom, when I, when I use it, my husband will walk in and be like, are you drinking coffee? And I'm like, nope, it's my bath. All right, the next one is, uh oh, I think we're about to have a tumble here. The next one is a, another body wash. I really use a lot of body washes, I'm just realizing. This is the Cocoa Sugar and Spice Body Wash. This is by Pink. I really like this one as well. It smells very, very good. It's got that nice vanilla scent, but it also smells a little bit spicy. So if you like the more spicy, and spicy I mean like, uh, like, um, I'm trying to think what, nutmeg or something like that kind of spice. So it smells really, really good. So I will definitely be, oh, it's ginger. It's ginger, that's what I'm smelling. It's not. It's not nutmeg, it's ginger, but it smells phenomenal. So these, I believe, were on sale recently as well at, um, at uh, Bat, not Bath, <laughs> at Victoria's Secret. They had a lot of their body washes on sale, so I did purchase some because I love their body washes. The next thing is a shave cream. This is by EOS. This is the Shea Butter Shave Cream. It's a 24-hour moisture. This is pomegranate raspberry. I love this so much that I ended up purchasing the full size. This is not obviously the full size. This is just a 74 milliliter, which I don't know how many ounces that is. I would, I don't know. I don't, I'm not even going to try to take a gander. I have no idea. 
So I love this. So I did purchase more of that. The next thing is a bubble bath. This is the Dr. Teal's foaming bath with pure Epsom salt. This one is the shea butter and almond oil. This smells really good as well. Oh my gosh. Look what just, I think I just ate a little bit of it. Oh yeah, that was nice. It smells really nice and light. It definitely has more of the almond smell than anything. So if you like a good bubble bath, definitely recommend Dr. Teal's. And it's a giant size. This is 34 ounces, so it'll last you a while. The next thing are the acne spot dots. I use these all the time because I still break out with acne. Even though I'm in my 40s, I still break out with acne. I'm so lucky. I didn't have any acne as a teenager. Now as an adult, I've had acne since I had my youngest son. So lovely. But these work really well. You just put the little dot on. It looks like a little sticker. You just stick it on. And then the next morning you get up, you take that off. And what that does is kind of pulls out the impurities of the um, zit that you have on your face. So it really does help. So I will definitely be purchasing more of those. Then we have another, another bubble bath. This is the Bubblegum Pop Aloe and Vitamin E Shower Gel from Bath and Body Works. This one smells really good as well. I feel like there was something in there. <laughs> smells just like bubble gum though. It smells like literally like you're chewing a piece of bubble gum. So if you don't like that scent, then you're gonna hate this. Cause it smells literally like when you use this in your bathroom, it smells like you just opened a giant ball of bubble gum. So like you got a bubble gum machine in your bathroom or something. So it's really nice. I do love it. I will definitely be purchasing more body washes from Bath and Body Works. Oh, speaking of a while ago, I mentioned that you can use uh, body washes for your lady bits. You can also use body wash, baby washes for your brushes. So that I use this for both. I use it for like if I run out of my lady bit wash or if I'm cleaning my brushes for my makeup brushes, this works really well. This is just a Johnson & Johnson's baby wash. I don't know what happened to the pump. I think the pump must have fell off in my container here, which is lovely. But I do love these like for your brushes because it's nice and gentle for your skin. Some people say that they use like Dawn dish soap too. I find that to be a little harsh on your brushes. I think this is a little bit more gentle on your brushes, so recommend this as well. The next thing is this right here. This is a foot file. It, technically, I didn't use it up, but I wanted to let you guys know if you've ever seen this foot file in the stores to definitely look into it. So this foot file, I don't know about you guys, but I like soft feet. <laughs> so first of all, let's start with that. But this one is unique because it's got like a little cover on the back. So when you uh, take it over your foot, all the yucky stuff isn't all over your floor it actually goes into like a little compartment and then you open it and then you can just throw that away so this one's really nice i found it at tj maxx for 5.99 so i love good deals the next thing is from saint and centers this is the super fresh devon dry shampoo i love this dry shampoo it smells really good i wish there was oh there's a little bit oh my gosh it smells so good it's such an amazing smelling dry shampoo. I love the way it smells. I don't remember where I even purchased this or if it came in like a subscription box. I have no idea, but I definitely would love to have another bottle of this. I'm going to have to look. This is on the wish list for sure. Then we have some house. This, this is a household item. This is the Linen Water by um, LeBlanc. This is in Summer Verbania. Oh my gosh. If you guys are like me, and you use a lot of products around your house to make your house smell good, like your linens, your carpet, anything like rugs, I, the dog's bedding. I love for everything to smell nice and fresh. I highly recommend this. This smells phenomenal. This scent is one of my favorites from this brand. This is 32 ounces as well, so it's a great big bottle of it, so it's going to last you a while, so highly recommend that. The next thing is another scented product. This is Caldrea. Caldrea is my favorite like home care brand as far as like room scents and things. This one is Juniper Laurel Mint. This smells like Christmas in a bottle. Christmas in a bottle. Oh my gosh, it smells just like a Christmas tree. So if you want the Christmas tree smell in your house, but you have artificial trees like I do, this is the way to do it. And Caldrea can be purchased through different places. My favorite place to purchase it is through, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of what it's called now. Isn't that terrible? Hang on one second. Um, it is through, um, oh my gosh, I'm, I have like the whole, most horrible memory um grove grove duh grove whoa hey stop that <laughs> i don't know what i just did there hopefully i didn't just type something in yep i did okay let's not do that cancel 
What did I just do? I'm like sending somebody a message. Grove. So Grove Collaborative is a company where you can purchase a lot of like natural home products. So if you're looking for that, I do have a link below in my uh, on my video here that you can purchase through and typically they offer like a free good gift basket and things like that that you can get with your first purchase of like $40 or so so that's where I'd recommend it and this one's hard to find so I can only find it through Grove this in particular is hard to find all right the next thing is from Dr. Teal's this is the Dr. Teal's pure Epsom salt it's a glow and radiance uh, this is really nice for a good bubble bath. I have um, plantar fasciitis in my foot. So my foot, I've been taking lots of baths to soak my foot and it feels really nice to soak in Epsom salt. So this one's really nice. The vitamin C smells good. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite from them. It smells a little too fake like vitamin C. It's not a good scented vitamin, like a good a citrusy scent, you know what I mean? The best ones I think is like the coconut one. The coconut one's really good because not only is that one good, but it's also hydrating because it has a little bit of oil in it. So that one works the best. This is a body wash I found at Target and I was like, I want to try it. It's called Quiet and Roar. It's a body wash with coconut and banana milk scent. You guys know if you've been here for a while, I love banana. Oh my gosh. This smells so good. It smells like tropical vacation. Definitely smells like summertime. So if you're looking for something to bring you back to summer in these cold days coming up, this would be an amazing scent to like use during your bath time. So highly recommend trying this out. And it was very affordable. I think it was under $5 for this big bottle, which is 16 ounces. So that's a good deal. I need to change my battery. Okay, so sorry guys, my battery died, so I needed to get that changed quick. Hopefully it's not too different. I know my camera accidentally moved it just a little bit, so anyway, let's move on. The next thing is from Victoria's Secret. This is the Coconut Milk and Rose Calm Exfoliating Body Scrub. These body scrubs are nice, but I don't think these are the best. It's more like a lotion, so if you're looking for a lotion body scrub instead of a more, um, gritty one then this one will be nice but i like a more gritty one because i find that it does a better job of exfoliating my skin getting it ready for whatever i'm getting ready to do so this is just it's okay i probably won't purchase that again then we have a another scented product for my home this is from house of bloom this is peony blossom this one is made in the usa i don't remember what this one smells like oh it smells very girly so this one definitely was used in the beauty room and also my walk-in closet i like to keep my walk-in closet smelling very girly so this is something i sprayed in those areas so i love the way this smells and i think i found that at like tj maxx this is another room spray if you like for your room to smell very babyish which is where i use a lot of the draft stuff around my dogs i wash their laundry and draft i spray their bedding mostly in the draft because i find that it smells like a baby and i like for my my dogs to smell like a baby you can't even see them i keep pointing back there but there there they are there's molly well you can see your booty so that's about all you can see max is on the floor laying i don't know why he's got a bed but he wants to lay on the floor but this is really nice to keep your room smelling like a baby. So this is what I use around my dog's like areas and stuff. And I find that it's better. I think that it's better. It says it's safe around children. So I would think that it would be okay around dogs too. Hopefully I'm right. I could be wrong and you guys will tell me. You'll be like, no, no, no. Don't use that around your dogs. And then I'll feel terrible. So, okay. I gotta try to pull my bag here. My bag is getting full. I'm taking everything and throwing it into a bag. So I know to go ahead and go through it and recycle what can be recycled. And then we have a another body body lotion. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is Pure Wonder. I'm thinking this is a holiday one because, yeah, this is more of like a holiday scent. Uh, I don't know what the notes are on this, but it smells very good. So it's very, it's not like Christmassy. It just smells very, it reminds me of like New Year's Eve is what it smells like to me. So it smells like a New Year's Eve scent. Then we have a Summer Scrubbing by Call of, by Soap and Glory. So this was really good. I really like this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. There's a little bit left in there that I didn't realize. Uh, but this smells really good. It smells like summertime. It smells like summertime in a bottle. Not like coconutty summer, like more like fresh fruit summer. Like maybe banana and banana, of course. I love banana. But banana, like a, like a fruit salad is what it smells like. So I really like that as well. Then we have this right here. This is the Dr. Teal's Milk Bath Collagen. This is really nice. It doesn't give you much bubbles. If you're looking for bubbles, this is not going to give you bubbles, but it definitely makes your water nice and soft, nice and relaxing. So this is a little bit more expensive than a lot of the other Dr. Teal's products. 
This doesn't have much of a scent whatsoever. So if you're looking for something very scented, this is not very scented. Or if you're looking the other way, so it's not very scented, but it's nice and just relaxing for your bath. Probably won't buy this again just because I typically like a more bubble bath. I like a lot of bubbles. I like to look like I'm like, I'll, I'll turn myself into Santa Claus when I'm in the bathtub. Like that's fun, right? Then we have a Bath and Body Works Champagne Toast Shower Gel. This one is um, bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy juicy tangerine. Mmm, smells so good. Champagne toast is another scent that I think is a good one for like the New Year's. So there'll be a good gift for somebody coming up. Love that scent, and I definitely will purchase more of those. Oh my gosh, my bag's getting full. Then we have another one from Vic from Victoria's Secret. It's another body scrub. This one is the Mandarin and Honeysuckle. This is an energized scent. Again, they're okay. I just think that they're a little too lotion-like. I don't really like them that way. They do suds up a little bit too though. So not only is it kind of like a lotion, but it's almost like a wash. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. I just, I find that it's weird and I don't like it. I like my typical body scrubs. I just think that they're better. They're just more superior. Then we have this right here. This is from Native. Oh my goodness, guys. If you have not smelled some of the native body washes, you have to go smell. I find mine at Target. You can also get them online. I know native is sold online. I've purchased online a couple times because there's certain scents that I thought, well, I'm never gonna find that here, so I need to find that online. This one is Oat Milk Latte. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. It smells like coffee, but also like coffee with a good cream to it. It's just, it's very, very good. Um, and it's simple ingredients, it says. It's um, ginger oil. Um, it says oat milk latte is the free, I don't know. It just, it's a sulfate free, paraben free, dye free, phthalate free product. So if you're looking for something a lot more good for your body, definitely check out Native. All right, oh my goodness. We have a hand soap, which I'm surprised there's not more in here. There probably were more that I've thrown away, but I probably just didn't keep them. Let's be honest. I can't keep all of my trash because I would have like, my room would be cluttered and just trash. This is the Hello Sunshine, Hello Sunshine White Tea and Sage Foaming Hand Soap from Bath and Body Works. This is my favorite hand soap, like not this specific one, but the brand and the, the style of it, the foaming style. I love the foaming style. Some people prefer the ones that are just more like a soap soap, so or like a, a gel soap. I like the foaming the best, so I've already purchased more of those. I love that. All right, this is from Kenra. This is a dry volume burst. It's an instant soft hole volumizer spray. This works really well if you want a boost, like say like right now, see how, well, maybe not right now. <laughs> Don't look at my hair, okay? My hair is looking so lovely today. So if you want a boost at the root of your hair, this is great for that. And it doesn't leave your hair feeling sticky or hard. I do not like hard hair. Like I remember growing up, some of the hairsprays I would use would make it feel like I had a helmet on my head. And I'm like, I don't like that. This does not do that whatsoever. So highly recommend this and I will be purchasing more. I'm throwing away a hairbrush. No, why is that in there? I'm not sure. I think that got in there by accident. Then we have another Caldrea. This is the Rosewater Driftwood Linen Room Spray. So this is a, another really great spray that you can purchase through Grove. This one you can find on Amazon as well, though, so you do not have to purchase it on Grove. But Grove, you just get better discounts and things like that is why I typically purchase through Grove if I'm looking for specific scents from Caldrea. But this is one of my favorite scents for like my bedding. When I'm making the beds, I like to spray this as I'm making it, and I find that it makes your room smell really nice. And then when you crawl into bed at night, who doesn't like crawling into fresh smelling bedding? That's just like, yeah, hello. And I think I just remember why this brush is on here. Yep, I do remember. Is that right? No, why is that brush in there? I'm not sure why the brush, I thought we, wait a minute, did I break the brush? No, it's not. Then we have a Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. This is an ultra dark one. This is really, really nice if you want a really good tan that looks almost as natural as what you can make it. So this is a really nice one and it's not super expensive. I like the way it works. I like that it goes on easily. I put it on at nighttime before I go to bed. Just make sure if you go put it on at nighttime before you go to bed, don't do like I do and you put it on and then sleep in white sheets and then wake up the next morning and be like, what is that? Oh, oh my, that's terrible. Somebody had an accident. No, <laughs> it's your tan. I thought my dogs had did something in our bed. I was like, oh, what is that? 
All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We have a, another body scrub. This one, again, is by the Onyx Bathhouse. This is Bunny, Bunny Ribbit. Bunny Ribbit, that's cute. This one, it smells like, let's see, spring flowers, it says. Um, I don't know if it's going to give us spring flowers with Moroccan oil. This one smells very floral, like too floral for me. And I love flowers, but this is just like a, you're walking into a, a like a flower shop and it's that overwhelming smell that like hits you. That's what this smells like. I don't like that one either. A lot of them I didn't like, I just realized. Like, I don't like their scents. I wish they would come out with like more, better, unique scents. We have another room spray. So I'm showing you all kinds of room sprays you can get for your home. This is Botanica. This is by Airwick. This one is uh, French lavender and honey blossom. You guys know I'm not a huge honey fan, but this smells really good. This smells so good. It's more, and I don't even like lavender. So it's something about when you mix these two fragrances together that just makes it smell very almost romantic. It's like a romantic spray for your room. So I really like that one as well. Let's see. Just a couple more things in here. We have another Caldrea spray. We just talked about this. You guys know how much I love Caldrea. We have a, another Dr. Teal's. This one is Restore and Replenish. This is just the pink, pink Himalayan one. These are amazing though. Like I said, I've had foot issues with my foot since April and I've had shots. I've had all kinds of things, but hot bath seems to seem to really help me like at least relax for bed anyway. Then we have some of these little razors. These are by the Derma, Derma Blend, I believe. These are the ones where you like take and shave your face with it, but you have to have the actual contraption to use it. So hopefully you know what I'm talking about. You might know what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can find one so I can show you. Because otherwise, I just sound silly right now. You're like, what are you talking about? Oh, well, let's see. Derma. Derma blend? I think it's what it's called. No, that's not it. What is it called? Um, let's see. Shave. Let's look up shave. And then maybe it'll pop up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know what it's called. Um... Oh, goodness. I can't even find it this way. Okay. Um, I'm just going to sound silly because I don't know what the heck it's called. I know I have the, the device on my table on my vanity, but I just don't remember what it's called. And I'm not sure why there's a sponge in there. It feels like things got accidentally tossed into my basket. Then we have another Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. This is a full size. I love this. Like I said, it works really well for dry skin, so I highly recommend that. Then we have a Beja Flor Elastic Cream by Sol de Janeiro. This is just a tiny one. Oh, smells so good, though. I remember when I first smelled this, I was like, ah, oh, it's okay. It's very typical, almost like a Bath and Body Works scent. The more I used it, the more I fell in love with it, so I really like the way that one smells. Then we have another Caldrea spray. <laughs> My house probably smells like flowers all the time. My husband probably comes home and is like, did we just like invest into like a, a flower place, like a, a flower shop? I don't know. Either way. All right, we got some skincare here. We got the Sunday Raleigh Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid. I love this product. If you are looking for something to like as an acid for your skin, this is a really nice one because it's, uh, I feel like it doesn't harm, not really harm. I feel like it doesn't, irritate my skin too badly. So I really like this one. It's a bit expensive, but if you can find sales, then I would purchase it at that point. Then we have the Pharmacy Clean Bean. This is the Ultra Clean B, not bean, mm, a clean bean. An Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. This is really nice as well. I don't like the smell of honey, you guys know, but I really like this facial cleanser. I think I actually have it on my wish list to purchase more of this on one either Sephora or Ulta because I really like that. All right, we're getting down here, getting down here. Ooh, that looks disgusting. This is Sweater Weather Bath and Body Works Shower Gel. Another really good one, Sweater Weather. I think most of us have smelled Sweater Weather and we know it smells phenomenal. The notes in Sweater Weather are apple slices, blue skies, and fresh breeze. It smells phenomenal. Another perfume I finished is Vacation. This says, Scent of the World Famous Vacation Sunscreen Company. Okay, the reason why I finished this so quickly, first of all, there's two reasons. One, because it has zero lasting power. You put it on and like literally it's gone just like that. Two, because when I got this and they delivered it, you can kind of still tell from the bottle. 
it, a lot of it was missing out. It was like down to here when I got it. So it was already three quarters of the way. It was only three quarters of the way full. So I'm like, what in the world? So I didn't complain about it because I was just like, forget it. It's just too much of a hassle sometimes. So I don't recommend this. If you want to smell like vacation, get Bobby Brown Beach or get Replica Beach Walk or something like that, where it's actually going to last onto your skin. That just doesn't last. Then we have a, another body wash. This is Whipped Almond Vanilla. This is Sweet Almonds Whipped Vanilla Milk Marshmallow Lavender. Again, definitely going to be purchasing more. You'll see tons more of the body washes in the future. Either get ready with, or not get ready with me, either empties or hauls. Then we have a Molten Brown. This is the Delicious Rhubarb and Rose. I had an amazing friend here on YouTube. You know who you are, a subscriber. Send this to me and it smells phenomenal. I love the smell of roses and rhubarb and ro rose mixed together it was so, so yummy. So I love that body wash. Okay, let's see. I need to figure out how to, my bag's gonna overflow. My bucket's empty, but my bag's gonna overflow. So we gotta figure this out here. All right. We just have a couple more things in here. Let's see, let's see if we can go through these pretty quickly. Let me pull them all out here so we can just go through these as quick as we possibly can. <laughs> you guys are like, well, yeah, this has been forever. This video is way too long there, girl. Oh, I found the pump for the Johnson & Johnson. Now we're empty here and we have lotion spilled up in the bottom of my basket, awesome. So we have another patch. This is the Mighty Patch. These work really well as well. It's a blemish blemish patch. They only get six in here though. I find these work a little bit better than the ones I showed you before though, but it's unfortunate that you only get six. I'm like, that's so little anymore. Then we have the Sol de Janeiro Nourishing Hair Oil. I got a lot of these for free when I purchased things at Sephora. So I wanted to try them out that way. And since I did, I think I got like four for free, which totaled to a bottle of it, like a full size bottle. I really like this. Once I'm finished with all these, I probably will purchase more. I will purchase some, but it smells just like the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. So if you like that smell, you're gonna love that smell. You're gonna love the oil. Then we have the Cora's Wild Rose uh, Facial Oil. I love rose. I think rose oil is very, very good for your skin. So I will definitely be getting more of that. We have a small size of the Detox Dry Shampoo by Dry Bar. This is Coconut Colada. Mm. I took this with us when we went to Florida. No, it wasn't Florida. I don't remember. No, California. We went to California. I took it with me and I love the way it smells. And it's really good for in between washes. I don't like to use a ton of dry shampoo just because my scalp is so dry anyway. So it's not really needed. Let's be honest. My scalp stays so dry. I don't, I don't really need dry shampoo. Then we have a travel size all nighter. These are perfect for traveling with and all nighter works really well for keeping your makeup on all day. We've all probably tried that by now. Then we have a Becca. This is the under eye brightening setting powder. This is my coveted powder. I love this powder. This is my holy grail powder. I purchased, I think nine of them at the beginning of the year. I love this powder. Like it's, it's empty. I love it for under my eyes. It doesn't crease under my eyes. I feel like it's just perfect. It just does a great job for me. Very hard to find though now since they don't make it anymore. We have a room spray. This is Peppermint Sugar Cookie. I love their concentrated room sprays. You only need one spritz and your whole room smells phenomenal. This one smells really good because it's like got that peppermint like candy cane and yet also like a sugar cookie. So it's delicious. Then we have the Tula Probiotic Supplement. This is a makeup melt off. This was perfect for traveling with. It's like a stick form, like chapstick. Rub it all over to your, rub it all over your skin. Melt your makeup off, clean it, and it's nice and easy to travel with. So I would definitely purchase more of these. So that was very nice. We have two of these. These are the Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serums. I love this lash enhancing serum. It works really well for growing your lashes, but it does have one caveat. I find that when I use it, it will irritate my contacts. So my contacts get irritated after a while by using it, but I noticed a huge difference when I was using it that my lashes were growing extremely long. So that's a very good one. Then we have a perfume. This is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. This is a scent bird little scent one. So I finished this up. I love that scent. You guys probably have smelled it before too, and you know that it smells very good. Then we have an Honest Extreme Lash Mascara Primer. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. So that's a, that's a, that's a trash. 
Then we have the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Oh, the reason why I didn't like that is because it didn't do anything for my lashes. So if that helps, like my lashes looked the same whether I put that on or I didn't. So my I'm like, why would I go an extra step just to look the same exact way? This is the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This works really well. It's very buttery. So if you're looking for something very gentle to take your makeup off, makeup off with, this works really well. LMS is one of my favorite skincare brands. So very happy to have used that and it's finished. And guess what guys, we're done. We are all done. That is all the empties, believe it or not. We went through a boatload here. Did we or did we not? I think we did. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, your opinions on everything that I showed you guys today. Also, don't forget my shirt. What is today's shirt? It says, it's our calling card. It's the wet bandits, wet bandits. All the great ones leave their mark. So if you guys know what this is, let me know. What movie is it from? So anyway, let me know what you thought of my empties and I will see you guys tomorrow in day six. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.